here in London, England for our main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. Frazier. And his opponent across the ring. By the way of Denver. The kid, Dempsey. Okay, guys. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Opening three minutes of this 10-round fight. Frazier's engine revs nonstop. You cannot say the same for his opponent here, Teddy. No, and that's why I can't say that I have a real good expectation for the hope tonight of his opponent, because Frazier will wear him down from the opening bell. Very nice defensive guard there. Hits him in the mug with the right. Good combination to the body. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Able to show you his blocking ability. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Frazier's doing well here with that two-punch combination. A solid, true uppercut by Joe Frazier. Keep your head moving. There he is from long range using that jab. Joe, if you're on the outside, say at a picnic, you want to keep those insects away, you use insect repellent. While you're on the outside as a fighter, you want to keep your opponent away, that jab, that's the way to go. Good accuracy with that uppercut. You buy a ticket to a Joe Frazier fight, you have grand expectations. Yeah, and you have expectations that you're not going to be going to get a hot dog or going to get a soda. You better sit in your seat, have your eyes glued, because he's coming out after that man. Frazier's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. A solid uppercut by Joe Frazier. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. <laughs> Frazier's right hand working well that time. He scored well. In and out, in and out. Good defensive skill. Halfway through this round. He scored well after being hit himself. You know, Joe comes across as a guy that just has that single-minded focus. I want to seek and destroy. But he likes to sing a little bit outside the ring. Yeah, he does, and he bobs and weaves his head, too. So he's not just walking in saying, hey, put one on my chin. Oh, he really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. And he scores with a three-punch combo. Goes up top with a right hand. Solid left. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Joe Frazier. He's committed to the combination punching now. He's working out well up top. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Joe Frazier's going with a quality that I think is very underrated 
in boxing, and that is to be judicious, to really think about when, how, and make the most of each thing you're doing. His punch rate, very, very effective in terms of his percentage landed. Yeah, he's throwing educated punches. You know, he's not wasting anything. He's making everything count, but just as importantly, everything's leading to something else. You know, he's working the body one moment, and that's leading up to some head attack later on. So he's planning everything out like a smart fighter, a guy that understands the sweet science. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier's well off the mark that time. Good shot there with that left. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Frazier's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Now this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. Good left there. Nice combination, throwing more than one, both scored there. That is a strong uppercut there. Ten clicks of the top. Nice work with the left hand. Start of round number four, easy scorecard to put together. Frazier's up, three rounds to zip, and Teddy, he's been carrying this fight because he's just simply been the more active guy. Yeah, nobody's really landed a lot, to be honest, but when one guy's a lot busier than the other guy, he wins the round. Well, he's committed to the left hand, and it's paying off here. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunch it. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Wow, look at that, trading shots. Frazier staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. Use the ring, use the ring. Smoking, still shaking after feeling that uppercut. Halfway through round number four. Jump on him, jump on him right now. Move your head, move your head. Flush shot, the left hand came in. And once again, the jab lands. over that hook and he does damage upstairs. Smoking Joe Frazier lands a big uppercut. He took a shot but he gives one of his own a left hand scores. Final 10 seconds. Nice work to the midsection with the left. End of the round here, and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was, and you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. You see the defensive guard of Joe Frazier there. Bunches and bunches, combination up top. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. 
Joe Frazier's found exactly what he likes on the inside, and it is that power punch of choice, the uppercut. Now what he has to do is add something to it. It picks the head up, puts something on top, and finishes the job. You see he comes over.